Okay, my friends, um, I showed you guys this awesome deal that I got on a previous video that I did called the Small Hobby Lobby Haul or something like that. Go check it out or I'll link it in this video. Um, the Faber Castile Art Grip Aquarell pencil, watercolor pencils, which were $42.99 marked down to $10.75. Yes, I had to grab them. So this is what they look like. I absolutely love them. They're stunning, and I love that they have the little, um, oh, my hand's got marker on it. I love how they have the little bumps on them so that they're really easy to hold on to, and they're like triangular-shaped pencils as well. So they really, um, you can hold them very, very well. And playing with these last night, they are very creamy. I was very surprised at how well they went down. So let me guys show you, move this to the side. Let me show you the colors. There are no, um, there are no names on these. There's no color names, I should say. Um, there's numbers on them, but they don't have any names that I could find. See, like, um, this one is this color. It's not true to the end because I mean when you're coloring it yes but when you put the water the water on it it look how light it goes I mean that is nowhere near what the end of this looks like the peach color that I found it almost just blended all the way out it's so light okay so that's just a couple of things you need to think about that's why color swatches are so good because um i always leave a little piece of it i can't talk today i must need more coffee i always try to leave a little piece of what it looks like when you have um um just a regular crayon when you draw it in and then what it looks like when you've added water to it so you'll know what it's going to look like on your page like this light blue just it just washed out um they are beautiful colors and they are very very easy to work with um so i was gonna try to do one on the camera showing like a um like a blend so let's do like yellow you don't have to press hard at all and then I'm going to do a blue on one side. And then we'll do a red on this side. Maybe a red over here too on the blue. Okay. Oh, just a little bit more. And then let me get my watercolor pencil. I've been using these that I got from Kirataki. I love these pencils. They have the medium, the fine, and the broad. Um tips you just put the water in it cap comes off you know you can squeeze a little bit of water out on your on your um paper and then you just go to town so let's see we're starting with the red and then we go into the yellow we got some orange going here and then i would clean off my brush just a little bit and go back into the yellow and then get some green there see how pretty they mix okay brush up my pen a little bit go back into the blue and then the blue and the red we got us some purple 
Yep. Just all you gotta do is all you gotta do is wipe it off. Same pencil I've used for the whole thing. Squeeze it a little bit and then go into the red. So there's your blending and it was so easy. And the colors just I mean doesn't leave any residue or anything. It's really pretty. That was three colors I just mixed. Isn't that nice? I really, really like the blendability of these. So, um, yeah, if you can find these, go to your Hobby Lobby right now and see if they have any more on sale. If not, I'm going to go and buy a bigger set because I want more of the colors. <laughs> um, so, um, I hope you liked this video, and, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the product, let me know. Uh, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I will be back with another product or coloring book very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.